Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. I realized as soon as I cut the video off that this is the area I want to be going. It's not very obvious when you look at the map because it's like... You go upside down here and then this transport takes you around and over a building somewhere else. And it's like... I was just going off the map and uh, that was my mistake. Because this is where I need to be. And specifically this icy area, that's where I wanted to be. Never mind, we got there in the end. Excellent. Now we get to this cold area, so I have to move forward here, and the wind will push me to here. And now we get to have some fun with mines, because as we know, mines are very dangerous. That is why we must destroy them with extreme prejudice. There is no skill point for doing this without taking damage, which is a good thing, because, let's be honest, mines are scary. Alright. Up and around. And all this, of course, is not... Oh, it's only barely visible on the map, so that's why I got confused. Nonetheless, though, we're almost done here. Shockingly, I wasn't hit by that mine. So, I think I'm going to go up... No, I don't. I can't. I get blown off if I take that direction. I need to go this way. And use the power of agility to avoid electricity. And fail to do so completely. That's one way to uh, <laughs> grab a ledge. Well, apart from, aside from some minor damage we're taking here, here and there. Alright, let's see how we can actually manage this proper this time. Doesn't appear to be the case. There we are. Up and up again. We got to here. That's good. We need to be over here to get that gold bolt. So we need to do another section here with the good old grind rails. Well, we'll not step off this because it's probably a death sentence. So here we go. More... Magna boot action. Tell you what, I definitely prefer the the gravity boots to the magna boots in this sequel. Although the name magna boot in it is, is in of itself cool. It's just Ma gravity boots give you a lot more freedom of movement. All right, here we go. So we're almost there. We just have that one little area at the end that we need to get that. Gold bolt. Apparently there's metal detector things you can do here. We don't particularly care. So before we actually found something on the left hand side down there. We, what we failed to do is notice over here a second gold bolt. So you notice how we have to jump up here and then shimmy ourselves over? We just have to keep shimmying ourselves over. Like so. This leads us to the gold bolt. A well hidden gold bolt indeed. We'll have that. Excellent. Gold bolt acquired. So this basically means that we're pretty much done here. Like... There's nothing else that we need to do. Other than head to Velden and deal with Drek. So let's do that, shall we? Maybe we'll even avoid some electricity along the way. And we did. Steve isn't here. Let's go and heal our bodies. And our souls. With the power of science. And hit this button again, which will take us at all sorts of interesting locations. They gave us some unique music for that section, which is cool. Alright. And so, Altanus, the final planet left for our completionist bonus is done. So what's left, I you ask? We do technically have the gold weapons and the rhino to get. However, I'm probably going to use some kind of cheat code to get that. Well some kind of replay thing. I have no idea how I'm going to do it, but I will do a weapons demonstration later as a bonus video. For now, let's just head to Trek. 
it's time to get on to the final planet of the game, which is the first planet of the game. As it begins, so it ends. Let's head over to Kizil Plateau. Save Ratchet's planet. There are also three gold bolts and one skill point to be found on Velden. We'll also gather these along the way. It's a tense moment. Heading back home, the homecoming. The homecoming, of course. is not complete without the epic music that plays here. And there, our elite guard being dropped off. The same ones we had to face on Gadgetron. Well, let's deal with it, shall we? First off, we'll fill up on some ammunition. I got some great bargains for you today. We might as well. In the sequels, they make this a lot easier. They just literally add a button saying, Max out ammunition! <laughs> Which is a lot nicer. Back to Ratchet's garage. It's not clear if this is actually his home, but it is his garage. I noticed that the, uh, the quark post is mysteriously gone. How did that happen, eh? Nonetheless, we have to deal with the enemies here. So the one skill point remaining in the game involves those elite guard on this planet. I have to kill ten of them with the Omni Wrench. As you can imagine, it's not going to be the most straightforward thing in the universe to do. Because they aren't the easiest things to attack, but it seems that two Hyper Strikes will be sufficient for that. So to keep that in mind. Now if we want to cheese it, what we can do is just leave and come back and repeat the one basic enemy over and over. But why not just continue to play normally? They're not the easiest things to hit. We'll switch back to the Tesla Claw as well when we have to deal with this cheap stuff. Like so. Yeah, I'm a little stronger than when I left. Let's head up. So there's two of them here. I wonder if both of them will attack at once, or if I can just get some free hits in like so. I'm still taking damage, and that's... I'd rather avoid taking additional damage than I didn't need to. And it's still damage. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, you hit me from around the corner. I know it's the ship. There's ships and tanks here as well. My goodness, these people are serious about destroying my home. Poor Atchin. All he's trying to do is just stop an evil genius and all these elite guards show up. There we are. Dealt with that problem at least. Let's devastate a rocket this thing down. My goodness, these things are tanky. Four rockets. That's a lot of rockets. At least we got some of that back. That tank fires missiles. Okay, that's a serious tank. I don't bet the sand mouse would struggle with this one. Well, let's shoot the chassis. Two rockets for a tank. That's far more reasonable. All right, back to the Tesla claw. Zap these enemies, like so. Okay. More people to kill with the... <laughs> this is not a... This is a few too many to take on at once. Let's taunt one, shall we? Now that just, that just meant they started shooting. 
Well, that didn't help. Alright. We'll busy bomb gun this particular group. Alright. I think I did something. Let's just test the claw the rest of them. Nice. Alright, let's continue. Grab that devastator ammunition. This tank! It's a painful tank. I don't think I should be getting close to this. I'm dying to this tank. That's painful. Who makes tanks that can actually shoot more than, you know, 10 meters like the other one? Anyway, I'll deal with that nonsense. Down to one health. Well, at least we've dealt with that ship as well. Let's grab this health. Or need this health. Nice. This is basically where we found Clank before, so the rest is all new to us. Not probably not new to Ratchet because he lived here, but you know, new to uh, us as players. Let's use the trespasser here. All right, this particular puzzle. I haven't, I haven't done this one for some time. So that is almost it. That'll do it. Nice. More basic critter things. Not a problem, eh? Now, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. There's secrets everywhere, as you can expect. And there's a mysterious question. Hmm. Certainly this level have questions to answer by skill. We've de dealt with a few of the commandos, but if we get up to Drek and we haven't killed all the commandos, I'll have to just sort of backtrack a bit. But we should be fine. I'm really enjoying the uh, hearing this music again. It's a tough level, this. It's pulling all the gadgets out, too. Look at this. We just had to do gravity boot, or magna boots. We just had to do the trespasser. Now hydro displacer. And down there is the thruster pack switch. So, oh, usefully, however, there's free ammunition here. And then paid ammunition here. Useful. We'll need some not devastator rockets. I'll grab that. Let's hop back up because I fell in a bit unnecessarily. And then we'll hydro displace this terminal here. Let's get that hydro displacer. There we are. Empty that. So now we need to go and get out the thruster pack so we can do one of these. Excellent. Let's continue. Okay, there's a large number of those guards again. Maybe I can deal with them one at a time. Much of this lava on the left. At least the bottomless pit. Let's see what happens if I could sort of just poke my head in and out of it. There's a lot of projectiles here. This seems silly. <laughs> this seems ambitious. Let's take a step back and just Hit him with a busy bomb gun, shall we? There we are. I'm gonna hit the Exxon of a busy bomb gun as well. I'm also gonna hit the tank of a busy bomb gun. And then I'm probably gonna hit this guy of a busy bomb gun as well. Yeah. Guess what? You're all dead. Because <laughs> I have no health. I suppose I could just jump into this lava and be, you know, restored, but for the intent of dying, but who needs to do that, eh? It's not deliberately run it down. Alright, suck cannon time, I think. 
We have the suck cannon after all. Excellent. Dealt with that problem. That's the sound of a ship showing up. Golden suck cannon for the win. Let's use this cover. Empty the tanks. And fire a busy bomb gun, rocket. I guess into you, because you're the fun one thing I can actually get around to. Which one shots it? Excellent. Alright, now the golden bomb glove, I think. Alright, let's chuck a bomb in your face. I could shimmy around this thing. I'm having a dance. Dance like I've never danced before. You know what I need to do? I need to use the decoy glove. That's what I need to do. Let's bring it out, shall we? Shoot that! Hello? Shoot that then. Thank you. Wow, it didn't last long. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> All right. My goodness. Well, when we come back, more Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet's trying to save his planet and it's he's looking worse for wear. Even his rubbery version's not looking so good.